time for our first topic of discussion for today. And as we noted earlier at the beginning of the episode, we're going to be talking about the uh, efforts of the Ministry of Water Resources and Agriculture uh, to uh, use a more appropriate manner and uh, to uh, a more convenient manner, matter in uh, technological elements, uh, the intervention of technology in the field of uh, agriculture. And uh, to shed more light on this topic, we're most delighted to be joined here in the studio by uh, engineer Tor uh, Said Ahmed, and he's the general manager of the Information Center at the Ministry of Water Resources and Agriculture. First of all, good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Right, sir, we were just talking right now off air, talking about um, new methods and techniques you know, to, to follow up with the crops in general, and we understood that you are talking about satellites and internet, the use of technology. Tell us more about it. Well, this year we decided to use the satellite images uh, for water resource management on daily and weekly basis. Uh, before, we, we, we used to, uh, to use the satellite images for planning, for new development, a new project, uh, and uh, this type of, of, of uh, process. But to use it for the operationals in the field... On, the, on a, a regular one. basis. Yes, mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So uh, this year we started with the rice cultivation. Mm -hmm. You know the rice... Uh, Crop is the only crop we issue a, a, a minister every year uh, to define how much uh, area should be cultivated by rice. The reason for that is that the rice consumes more water than any other pro, uh, crop, like twice or third mm -hmm. uh, of uh, any other crops. The idea is to save water, not to 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 use to uh, to lose it, uh, for for the rice. So we decided to monitor the land on each stages of the of the rice cultivation the whole the whole season from april to september uh, and that includes the preparation of, of land uh, you, you know the, the the rice in order to cultivate rice you have to establish like a 10 centimeter of, of water mm -hmm. all the time and you plant the, the rice in it so we could detect fields with uh, at the the, the nursery stage uh, you can see from satellite images the the seed beds uh, where they, they, uh, they, they, they put the seeds in it and then transplanting to the, to the main field. Uh, we, we designed the program to detect all these stages. The idea is to, uh, as I said, to uh, like monitor and uh, compute the area. We have law and we, this year we have about uh, 1 million for them uh, to be cultivated. And unfortunately, uh, we have violation of that of that law, uh, with about one million more. So we are having two almost two million fedan this year. Uh, half of them is permitted, and the other half is illegal. Mm -hmm. So using the satellite images, we are now helping the field engineers uh, to find where is the the legal and where is the permitted area, and to go and make the fine mm -hmm. uh, on on those farmers. Yes. Um, engineer, as you said, that uh, the cultivation of rice specifically needs uh, abundant uh, amount of uh, water. Uh, does this breakthrough or the use of satellite imaging, uh, does it uh, help the uh, engineers on the ground to uh, save water? As, as, because as you know, like water scarcity is a crisis that's facing uh, the region as a whole. Um, does it uh, provide more convenient ways to use water, the appropriate amount without wasting uh, water that uh, is useless? Exactly. Uh, as I said, this year we have uh, one million for then more, mm -hmm. more than the, the permitted, mm -hmm. and that cost us about five billion cubic meters. Mm -hmm. uh, to, just to, to know what's five billion is ten percent of our uh, water share in the Nile. Huge amount of water. Ten percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On other example, uh, like it's average monthly release from high Swanda. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the in the winter time we, we release. Like about two to three billion. Mm -hmm. In the summertime, about seven, seven and a half. Mm -hmm. So five, losing five billion uh, cubic meter mm -hmm. is an average uh, a month release from high Swanda. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's, it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. How can the ministry deal with any violations of uh, extra usage of water? And just as you mentioned, because the land uh, allocated for rice, for example, uh, definitely it is mentioned that, for example, we need this um, this land for, for rice for this year, for example, and sometimes you will find a huge number of people actually they are cultivating rice as well. And I think this happened before. Every time. 
Yes. yes. It's all the time. We... I was just going to yeah. mention, yes, last year. Yes. It was far <laughs> beyond the imagination because we, we were talking about the usage of water and it was mentioned that we only need, for example, this amount. So they found a lot of people they are cultivating. Well, the process is complex. It's, it's to, to monitor and, Do and, they and force the, the, regula the regulations. It's complex because uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Irrigation and Ministry of Agriculture are sharing the process uh, to go uh, and, and remove those fields. You need you need the, the, the police, you need the, uh, the governorates, mm -hmm. so many uh, players that they have to, to work together. What we are doing this year is we defining the area by satellite. This uh, facilitates the work of the Ministry of Agriculture because normally they have names, they have books with, with the ownership of the, la of the land with, with names and, and then yeah. yes that's how, how we go and and, and I think this it. is something of great importance and we need to talk more about it but just allow us to move on to a quick break and we'll be back to resume our breakfast show <laughs> Nice <laughs> 